Welcome to our lesson on multiple inequalities. So in this lesson, we're going to plot each inequality on a number line. So we'll, we'll plot these two inequalities here on this number line. And we'll see if any values are true for both. So we'll begin with x plus 7 is greater than 10. And to solve this inequality, we're going to take away 7 from both sides. 7 take away 7 will make 0. So x is greater than 10 take away 7, which is 3. So we can plot this inequality on this number line. It will be a hollow circle above 3 going to the right. And now we'll solve this inequality where we have x minus 2 is less than 3. We'll add 2 to both sides. And these will cancel. So we're left with x is less than 5. So now we have a hollow circle above 5 going to the left and you can see here we have values of x which are true for both inequalities and we're going to write this as our solution where you can see that x is less than 5 from a green inequality but x is greater than 3 so x is greater than 3. So this is the solution to these multiple inequalities here. Do you want to try question B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we'll solve each inequality in turn. We'll take away 6 from both sides here. 6 take away 6 will make 0. So 2x will be less than or equal to 8. We'll divide both by 2, so x will be less than or equal to 4, which we can plot as a full circle going to our left. And for the next equation, we'll take away 5 from both sides, and these will cancel to make 0, so x is greater than the 2, take away 5, which is negative 3. So we have a hollow circle at negative 3 going to the right and you can see our inequality overlaps our negative 3 and the positive 4 so our solution is x is less than or equal to 4 and x is greater than negative 3 okay let's try some more questions so for question C, do you want to try and solve each inequality here and plot the solution on a number line? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we'll begin with 3x minus 4 is greater than 1. We'll add 4 to both sides. So 3x is greater than 5. We'll divide both sides by 3. These will cancel. So x is greater than 5 over 3, which is 1 and 2 thirds. So this would be a hollow circle approximately here, going to our right. And for the next one, we can divide both sides by 2. So these will cancel. So x plus 8 is less than or equal to 4. We'll take away 8 from both sides. And these will cancel. So x is less than or equal to negative 4. So here we have a full circle at negative 4. Now you can see in question C, the two inequalities do not overlap. So for question C, there is no value of x which will be true for both. So there is no solution. Do you want to try question D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D. The algebra is a bit more complicated, but we still need to make x the subject. So we'll take away the 3x from both sides here. And these will cancel. So we have 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to 10. We'll take away the 4 from both sides. And these will cancel. So 2x is less than or equal to 6. We'll divide both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 which is less than or equal to 3. So it is a full circle above 3 going to our left. 
and for the next one we'll expand both pairs of brackets so we have 3x plus 3 is greater than 4x plus 8 I'm going to take away the 3x from both sides because there's more x's on this side the needs will cancel so 3 is greater than x plus 8 I'll take away 8 from both sides and these will cancel so negative 5 is greater than x and I'm going to make x the subject so if negative 5 is greater than x x must be less than negative 5 so here we have a hollow circle at negative 5 going to our left so you can see the region which is true for both is this point here where x is less than negative 5 because if it is less than negative 5 it will be true for the blue and for the green okay thank you for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care